welcome you to the lecture of thermal power plant in this video i will describe the list of the thermal power plant selection of the site for the thermal power plant layout and working principle ranking cycle turbine condenser spray ponds cooling tower boiler coal handling plant economizer arp heater superheater and reheater quality of the fuel and its quality of power generation, merits demerits of thermal power station and some simple problem on thermal power station. So this video will be long, take your pen and paper, be ready, stay tuned and get started. Now we will discuss about selection of the site for thermal power plant. First we have to consider that supply of fuel. The steam power plants should be located near the cold mine. So the transportation cost for the fuel is minimum. However, if such a plant is to be installed at a place where coal is not available, then care should be taken that adequate facility exists for transportation of coal. Second thing we have to remember that availability of water. As huge amount of water is required for condenser, therefore such a plant should be located on the bank of a river or near a canal to ensure continuous supply of water. The third point is transportation facility. A modern steam power plant often requires a transportation of material and machineries. Therefore, adequate transportation facilities must exist. That is, the plant should be well connected to the other part of the country by rail or road, etc. Next, we will consider cost and type of land. The steam power station should be located at a place where land is cheap and further extension is possible if necessary. Moreover, being the capacity of the ground should be adequate so that heavy equipment should be installed. Next point is nearness to the load. In order to reduce the transmission cost, the plant should be located near the center of the load. This is particularly important for DC system. However, if the AC is the transmission system, then transmission will be happen at high voltage. Consequently, reduce the transmission cost. Therefore, it is possible to install a plant away from the load center provided other condition favorable for AC. Next, we will consider that distance from populated area. A huge amount of coal is burnt in the steam power station, therefore smoke and fumes pollute the surrounding area. This necessitate that the plant should be located at a considerable distance from the populated area. Now we will discuss about the layout of a thermal power plant. We know that in thermal power plant there are turbine has three units, high pressure turbine, medium pressure turbine and low pressure turbine. Now, high pressure and high temperature steam from the boiler comes to the high pressure turbine. After expanding through the high pressure turbine blade, the temperature of the steam decreases. So to increase the steam pressure temperature again, we send it back to the boiler. In the reheater section of the boiler, the temperature of the steam again increases. Now this increased temperature steam is sent to the medium and low pressure turbine. The turbine blades are air foil shaped. When steam passes through it, pressure difference is created, which creates a lift force. The, this lift force will start to rotate the turbine. As the turbine shaft is connected to the alternator, alternator also start to rotate. And three phase power is generated. This three phase power is fed to the generating transformer through the feeder. Now if we want to reuse the steam, we have to increase the temperature and the pressure of the steam again because after passing through the turbine blades, the temperature and the pressure of the turbine um, steam decreases. To increase the pressure and temperature, first we pass through it a condenser. In condenser, coming through the con coming with the contact of the cold water pipe, 
the steam condensed to water steam leaves latent heat and it became water and this water is fed to the feed water pump and feed water pump increase the pressure of the water and send it to the boiler in boiler first it fed to the economizer section economizer gives a large path to the water to come contact with the flue gas that's why temperature of the boiler increases but it still remains in the state of water this water is passed to the steam drum steam drum sent the water to the down comer after coming through the down comer it's come contact with the hot flue gas and temperature of the steam increases and its density decreases it going upward and come back to the steam drum again steam drum send the water to the down comer this process is repeated until the <coughs> water become steam now this steam is separated in the steam drum from the water this steam contain moisture to remove the moisture this moisture is harmful for the turbine blades to remove this moisture content we send it to the superheater section in superheater section temperature of the steam increases and moisture reduces. now the superheated steam from the superheater of the boiler come to the high pressure turbine in this way the cycle repeated again and again and we get the thermal power there is a valve in between the turbine and the boiler if the speed of the turbine is more than this then this valve is reduce the flow of steam so the speed of the turbine reduce and come to the original speed of the turbine if the speed increases the frequency also increased so to control the frequency we have to control the speed of the turbine we control this with the use of this valve so from the previous conclusion we can conclude that in one and two pump is compressing the water as a result the what it is called compression in pump in ts diagram we have seen that the graph is parallel to two axis that is entropy is constant so this is called isentropic compression in pump now in case of 2 to 3 boiler is adding heat to the water so this is called constant pressure heat addition to the boiler some part of the positive 2 to 3 is parallel to s axis that is t is constant in this part water is converting to steam that is why water is taking latent heat no temperature is changing so it is parallel to s axis now in case of 2 to 3 water is expanding in turbine and the graph again become parallel to t axis so entropy is constant so this is called isentropic expansion in turbine and in the case of 4 to 1 heat is rejected in the condenser so this is called constant pressure heat rejection in the condenser